Hello everybody, welcome to Minecraft Maker. The village is thriving, we're doing pretty well. I got sheep, I got piggies. And I have started work. What is going on over there? Is that a slime all the way over there? No. Oh, uh, just a aliasing cactus. Or, sorry, sugarcane. Okay, I've started to work on the sugarcane farm. Woohoo! So I've laid in ice. Took a little, uh, bit of an extended expedition to the ice farm, but it, it I think it'll be, it'll be worth it. Woo! And, uh, laid in a bunch of hoppers. I think it was more hoppers than I actually need, but we'll deal with that later. We can shorten up this chain and uh, put in a chest. So now it's time to actually start building. So let's go. Uh, I've got a chest over here with some supplies. I'm going to build a layer here. Let's see how long this goes. I have some leftover ice. Let me grab some dirt. I have some dirt here. It's actually probably enough for what I need. Let me grab jack-o'-lanterns. I don't need any hoppers. I'm going to need pistons and uh grab some more dirt i should have some ladders which i do not let me deal with that i also short other supplies i think i have some wood here if not i've got a little tree farm out there hello mr librarian Oh, ladders. There we go. Yeah. Let's go on out. Huh. Huh. <laughs> As if I can speak villager. All right. So let's uh, go on out over here. All right. So hopefully this thing isn't too close to the farm. Um, to the village. Okay, I also opted as you may notice for uh going with the extra long uh extra long version of the uh the farm mainly because i was thinking about it and this is probably a lower efficiency sort of farm to do it this long instead of doing it at the square the what i tested and showed you but um, I'm okay with that. This will per layer get me more more sugar cane, which is kind of what I'm after. So I say let's go with that. Oops. Oh, I should have grabbed some of that ice. I can do what I need to with the buckets that I have. But okay. So then I need to put in and I'm going to need more bricks. All right. Oops. Go like that. And then put uh, some dirt there as a Yeah, stupid efficiency pick. All right, so we'll do that. We'll do that, and we'll do this. I'm thinking now it might actually be a not so horrible idea to recess the whole thing in the ground one block. Stupid grass. So I don't have to do this. Oh, something has the dogs all worked up. And I'm making this uh, 29. There we go. 29 blocks on the long sides. 
which is basically from the center point the redstone can reach 14 blocks past the uh, the center point so it's center plus 14 and so that means 29 blocks I've got two uh, outside blocks so the whole thing is 39 31 blocks long <laughs> and it's the water will flow eight blocks and so and then there's one center row so it's uh, 17 blocks wide and then 19 with the outside so it's not a huge structure but it's a good size structure I guess it's more than a chunk large which I don't know maybe that's a problem we'll find out it certainly works in the creative world all right so put that as and I'm gonna run out of stone I didn't really calculate out resource requirements so I need some ice for the water so I will I'll probably end up woohoo okay I'll, I'll probably end up let me go get some stuff I'll be right back okay so um, I'm gonna use ice here to at least get ooh, there and this one that's my silk touch right yeah there we go I don't love the silk, silk touch picks. So I can do this and place uh, a block per, but I have I have a bucket on me because I don't really need to use the ice. It's just convenient. Although I don't think I have enough to go around. So, but if I ah, <laughs> okay, this is the downside to efficiency pick all right okay so then do that if I place them every other one along of course these will all become source blocks no different than if I place it like this so this just takes a little bit more time the ice is a convenient way of transporting a lot of water without having to refill your bucket. But these guys are 29 long. Um, half of that would be, what, 15? So you're going to have to put two in one corner, I suspect. Yeah, like this. And so you're going to need 30, plus then the short sides are going to be like or so so you're gonna need like 60 overall and I don't have that I only have half of that so we'll save that for some of it and it's getting dark I should go let me finish up this side and I'm gonna go go to go to sleep because it gets a little hairy out here and we'll continue in the morning all right good morning so I filled in my uh, wa my water troughs here. These are going to allow me to plant sugarcane in these blocks here. Now, next thing I need is I need a sacrificial piece of dirt or something, and then I'm going to place stone bricks along here to protect the water. Hey. And I picked up some more dirt or some more stone. I hope it's enough, at least for the first layer. If not, I'll have to go get more. Okay. And then same thing here. Short sides, go quicker. So let me put these in and then uh, I'll be right back. Okay. So now, so we have the dirt 
Okay, we'll go here. And then we need to place our pistons, which I have a bunch, right here. Facing in. And these are just regular pistons, not sticky pistons. Sticky pistons might work, but um, they're not going to, I don't think they're going to stick to anything to the sugar cane, so it's not an important piece. It's the biggest downside to the farm is it's expensive. The, the row of hoppers and all the pistons, it's, uh, it's a lot of iron. It's pretty expensive. But I have the I have the, the material, so why not? Alright, and one more row. And I'll have some extras. Yeah, come on. Okay. So now oh, see how I built these up? I need to do the same in the corners there. I've only ever built this farm in creative mode, so it's going to get interesting to figure out how to build the rest of it. So the sugar cane will plant, plant in here, and then up above the pistons. Oh, I just screwed up. Okay, here's here's the problem. Um, jack o' lanterns. Cannot place jack lanterns on top of pistons. So let me dig these all out. Our solution to this is going to be to place dirt down like this and place the jack lanterns on top of the dirt. And then to remove the dirt and replace the dirt with our pistons going to be a bit of a pain but this is what we want to end up with let me go deal with that and uh, I'll be back okay so we are almost recovered from our little accident notice I'm putting in the the uh, jack-o-lanterns facing to the side because I kind of want this um, this texture visible to the both the front and the back Okay, and let's put in the last of our pistons. So now this should give us enough light that the, oops, oh, got to deal with that, put that up there, I'm probably going to need more ladders. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, I have to keep dirt pillaring out, <laughs> need to find a better way in and out of here. And let me take these down. Sorry, hang on a sec. Ooh, it's dark. It's nice and bright in here. Okay, so now this this is the interior construction. Um, let me grab these guys and start planting. Oops, don't need that yet. Okay. So if you got the water right in the troughs, you should be able to you should be able to plant sugarcane on all these spaces. If you can't plant the sugarcane, then it doesn't have the water available. 
And you have to dig into the side to figure out what, what went wrong. As you can see, it takes a bit of sugar cane to seed the whole thing, but not too much. A couple stacks. And I'm probably going to have to knock one of these out to be able to get in and out, or get out. And I just have to figure out which one to do. Let's see here. Take out these ladders. Oh. Okay, those will end up in the chest. And then if I put ladders here, I should be able to get out. But then these, this guy won't grow. So let me, That was ominous sounding. I don't mind losing a couple ladders, but... Hello, Mr. Zombie. Okay. Really? Oh, you can... You can pathfind to me. <laughs> okay. All right, so, oh, he dropped a potato. Okay, let's go hightail it back to bed. Come back and finish up in the morning. Oh, you know what? Uh, hang on. Let's go back home. They should be safe. I've made some progress on the, uh, the Union Station. Not a lot, but I've put in most of the ceiling. I'm going to dig out the side here a little bit more. Um, and I'll figure out what to do with the rest of the flooring. But we will figure it out. And I still have an issue with the... Still haven't gotten the powered rail right quite right and from this direction. I start to run out of steam. Uh, but it makes it. There's a Zombert inside the cow, cow pen. Okay, sorry, dude. All right. Okay, I'm going to sleep and gather some more supplies, and we will resume in the morning. Whoa! Mountain climbing spider jockey. Can't really see him from down here. Very cool. Hello, Mr. Squid. stone right. cut down here I really got all kinds of stuff down here too okay, down. no it's probably fine okay let's go all 
Huh. No creepers. Okay. All right. So, let me figure out my access strategy. So, let's get rid of these dirt blocks for now. Probably just put them back. Um, this block is necessary because it's holding in water. I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well let's let's put these guys up because I can do this from the ground here. So we need this, which will hold the redstone dust. Come on, there you go. What is going on here? Okay. Come on, there we go. Ugh. Ditch. Oh, man, rah, rah, rah. okay. I'm going to have to take out one of these just to lay in the redstone, but we'll deal with that in a moment. from an aesthetic standpoint. Oh, what is going on? Why is it all twitchy like that? Okay, there we go. And just from an aesthetic standpoint, I will probably do that. Hide the sides of the, uh, the pistons. I think it makes the edges look better, more consist consistent. deal with that little ditch and uh, get rid of this and this and this all right so now okay need a few more things Okay, so I need some hoppers. I've got some redstone blocks, which turn into dust. I need sticks. Not a ton of them, but I need sticks. So, fortunately, I have some wood. sticks no not nearly enough okay let me go get some more wood she's easy enough got trees all over the place here hmm. oh you know what else I need okay this is no good okay Okay, I need more sticks. I need more. I need some comparators. Okay, 
I've got plenty. I've got the stuff I need back at home, so I will be, I will be back. Okay. Ah, stupid Enderman. That creeper experience go. Okay, so we are going over to the cactus farm. So I'm going to need some. I need some blocks. It's stack 64. That I can put into the hopper clock. And the one block I have more of than anything else is cactus. Look, it's just laying on the floor in here. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go with that just for good measure. I'm miscellaneous stuff over here still. This, I don't need this gunpowder so much in my pocket oh I had comparators and levers and stuff in here I didn't need to go make it that's okay let me take stuff here that might come in handy and anything else okay oh I could use wool as well. Okay, let's let's. I'm gonna head back over to the village, which is that ways. So I will see you in a sec. All right. Okay, so we're back. Let's uh, let's see if I can get this thing up and running. So I think I have all the things I need. Gotta. Oh, I'm gonna have to fill in this little trench a little bit here. Um, I have dirt, so I can do that. Very good. Not all of it, just a little bit. Okay, so. One thing we gotta do is figure out where we're gonna put the clock. That drives the whole thing, and we're thinking of putting it right here. Uh, so. It's just a standard, uh... Redstone hopper clock. Etho, uh, Etho is done. So it's two hoppers feed into each other. Place that block so that I can get the hopper to feed into the side, so they feed into each other. And then, oops. And this one hot one clock should drive the whole thing. And then I need comparators comparator there and a comparator there and then I need oh, oh my gosh okay um, I need more things okay we'll uh, continue as if that's I didn't just make a horrible mistake out here seeds okay so I need I need a bunch of redstone dust just go away there we go I'll swap you out for the comparators and we also need to find the exact midpoint of this it's very important so let me figure this all out and I'll be back in a sec. Welcome back to another episode of Theron Can't Count. Urgh. I made the uh, the farm too long. Not going to fix it at this point, but I made the farm too long. Which is a tad annoying. But, that's the way it is. So, one of the pistons will never fire, which I suppose is fine, because it wasn't going to uh, be that long anyway, so. And of course it's getting dark again. Alright, so. Should have pulled them all in. And then I want to block... Wait, is 
that right? No. <clears throat> I'm going to have to go look at the other world and figure out what I'm doing wrong. So. Yeah. Oh. Hello, slimes. You're the answer to my prayers. Oh. Nah, too bad I didn't catch you earlier. I could have cured you. Okay, come on, little guys. I just need a couple slime balls. Oh, of course. What am I carrying that I can throw away? Nothing. Darn it. There's another one over there. Oh, there's multiples. Okay. Let me, um... It's probably the least valuable things I have on my person at the moment. Let me go get this guy too. Not the cow. Oh, I thought there was another. Oh, there he is. Hello. You're just what who I wanted to see. Ah, come on. All right. Pick up all this lovely slime. And let's shoot this creeper in the face. Okay. Okay, let me drop off temporarily. Um, cobble, more torches, more torches. Okay, good. Let's go get those other slimes. I don't really want that, but those are the torches. Okay, so here's the thing. I screwed up. I was building this thing from memory. And, um... I built it uh, too low to the ground and uh, too long. So two of the pistons are never going to fire, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I suppose I could replace those with any other block. And uh, the other problem is that... Uh, oh, I... Right. Okay, so... Uh, Wait a second. Get out of my pocket. Get out of my pocket. All right. So I need sticky pistons. I need two sticky pistons. And fortunately, I saw the slimes there. So, um, uh oh. Okay, hang on a sec. Oh, why do they have to make this difficult? There we go. Two sticky pistons, please. Thank you. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to place one sticky piston here. Woohoo! And I need to put a block of redstone down next to it. I need to place another sticky piston here. Okay, so here's our clock. If I throw some stuff in here. It'll start moving into here. It'll start moving into here. Now it's going to stick in here because I have these levers turned 
on, which is effectively turns the clock off, which is fine. It's what I want. Um, and then I need a dropper, which I don't have. And I don't know if I have the resources to make here. So, um, so part of the problem is this is too, too low to the ground. I need another block down. I don't need, but, uh, I will be able to figure out what I need to do otherwise, but it's going to take some, uh, playing around. So, uh, pardon me while I go do that. And, uh, I will probably, let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to have to play around with this bit. So, anyway, um, ugh. okay, uh, so this is, uh, this is not going to be as graceful as I thought. So let's just, uh, leave it for the time being and, uh, I will get this all sorted out and I will come back and show you the loveliness when I get done. Uh, so I will see you. I will see you later. All right. Bye.